Namaste. This is the 10th anniversary of our production company and our mission when we started this was to bring Bharatanatyam to a diverse audience and to take it out of its context of religion and mythology and make it relevant to the generation, the present generation in a way that they would take up an art form like Bharatanatyam and not move away to Western um, forms of expression. It's been 10 years and while um, one can get uh, jaded in our own perspectives, we have tried to keep true to these missions that we first started out with as we bring to you a dance film, Beyond the Rains. Beyond the Rains was a completely different experience from the previous kinds of films that I've been making. In the sense that this time I wanted to create a haiku on celluloid. Now, for those of you that are uninitiated with what a haiku is, it's a three stanza poem in Japanese composed of 17 syllables. And they tend to make this slight reference about nature. And the effect is something which is uh, very gentle, but still quite significant. What I wanted to create on celluloid was the same structure of a haiku, a story that's gently told, but it brings about an impact nevertheless. Now, our past films have been quite impactful, but they've also carried the velocity and the force of a story, which went that way. In this case, we took a very gentle love story. We juxtaposed two generations against each other in order to be able to appreciate the differences in the way a love story is thought of by then and now. We add two characters that are completely chalk and cheese, one of them that lives like a phantom from the past, one of them who is a dynamic young girl from today's world. And when you juxtapose these in the realm of what love is, um, I think what we find is that generations may pass, but the power of a love story to touch us, that never changes. Hi, I'm Abhay Nainpalli. I did the music for Beyond the Rains, a movie beautifully written and directed by A.K. Srikanth and beautifully performed and choreographed by the legendary Savita Shastriji. When I got the, um, when I first heard the story, it was such a beautiful moment because I remember the one sentence that uh, the director Shri told me was that this story is like a dewdrop hanging from a leaf. So that was the delicacy with which we had to treat this whole subject. I mean, I'm sure when you watch the movie, you'll know why exactly it is like that. But sometimes when you're creating music, the more minimal, the simpler it is, the more difficult it is to create. So this was a very, very challenging um, thing for me to do, but very enriching as well, because I learned so much during the making of this, uh, you know, the, during the making of the music for this movie, and what I've tried to do here is to try and keep it as minimal as possible and make you feel when you're listening to the music, like it's a dew drop that's just about to you know, drop off from a leaf. So I hope that that gets conveyed and I hope you all enjoy the movie like we did in making it. Beyond the Rains has been a very different experience for me. It is a love story, but I think Beyond the Rain goes into actually redefining what love is. I've played many characters that were steeped in love at different stages of my dancing career, but nothing like the protagonist in Beyond the Rains. All through it, Srikanth told me, imagine the palette being rain. That there is this constant feeling 
of rain showers and when I finished Beyond the Rains, it, it was certainly an experience that left me drenched, drenched in love. That's an interesting way of putting it. Um, she always thought that um, I cannot write a love story. In fact, many people have said that to me that I cannot write a love story, but I guess I wrote a story with a lot of love, so it qualifies as being a love story, I hope. Um, I think you'll find something very different in our way of storytelling in this particular one. Uh, it's a lot gentler, it's a lot more subtle, but gentleness and subtlety uh, don't necessarily mean that the intensity is any less. I think that part of it uh, stays as a hallmark of our productions in any case. Um, it comes out on screen uh, day after tomorrow, which is Valentine's Eve. Um, so please tune in with your loved ones and enjoy Beyond the Rains. <laughs>